Don't use the song. Oh god, please okay. don't use the song. Anything but this. Not the song. Hi everybody, welcome to Game Gorgon. My name is Cruz. I'm Indigo. And today we're here to talk to you about Fallout Miami, a mod. I know that's weird. Just hear us out. I mean, we've talked about mods before in Game Gorgon. We, we talked have. We talked about the Skyrim mod that basically doubled the size of Skyrim. Yep. A link to that video is going to be in the description. I saw this and I got really excited about it because while it isn't as expansive as the Fallout mod, it looks really well put together. Yeah. And it it's a, a very large map. It's actually going to be a, a little bit larger than the Far Harbor expansion. Yeah, DLC for Fallout 4 that's like officially made by Bethesda, right? Yeah, the fact is is that we're going to possibly see a content drop by a third party at this massive scale is really awesome. And it, that it, rivals something that the actual developer of the game made. And they're not just adding like zones, right? They're mm. also adding like unique enemy types, they're adding unique weapons, they're adding unique soundtracks and voiceover, there, there's, which is really Cool. There's an entirely new group of factions. And, yeah. yeah, there's new factions and like storylines behind each faction, yeah. which I think is really awesome, as well as individual looks. So there's new armor types. There's like the weapons were so cool because we'll, we'll put some of the, the, the weapons in this episode. But no, we won't. like, you're gonna look at our faces. <laughs> shooting radiation at your enemies. <laughs> Radiated water is really. Up. Because it's so like innocent at first, <laughs> you're just like, oh, stop, you're gonna be wet. Oh, God, why do I feel tingly? <laughs> <laughs> it covers South Point Pier to the Fontainebleau Hotel. That word's gonna be on the screen. You can make fun of me in the comments for how badly I butchered it. Yeah. It's not a really large space in comparison to Fallout. Fallout. Yeah. It's a really large space for a mod, I think. Yes. The content it adds, like, is going to have a large enough area to for the player to experience it all in, right? It's not like cramming it all into like this tiny, like barely worked on space. And it's not just spreading it out through the world where the player's already been, which kind of like breaks the, like, well, why didn't I see this last time? Kind of like, I guess, level of immersion mm -hmm. that you would have in a Fallout game. They're continuously looking for more people that would like to join the team, because yeah. this is all being done off of, you know, people's free time, yeah. you know? And I think that's really awesome. We're gonna put a link down in the description for it so that uh, you, if you guys wanna join, you can. Yeah, if you're gonna join, be sure to, uh, in your interview, turn your phone off, unlike me, during this actual <laughs> recording session that we're in the middle of. <laughs> you're welcome. Now, one of the things that I liked the most is that while each month there are monthly updates to the game while, where they show in-game um, screenshots. They also show different music tracks that are gonna be playing in the background, just kind of give you theming. Don't use the song. Oh God, okay. don't For each location. But like all good Fallout games, there's always that, that amazing radio announcer. You listen to Miami Wasteland Radio. And I'm your host, Rad Surfer Dude. Yeah, and they always have their own like special quirky personalities, and this one fits the environment of Miami really well. <laughs> seagulls. <laughs> hey, seagulls. Shut the f up, you stupid seagulls. By being like the surferiest dude. This next tune reminds me of this one time when this girl came by and she was knocking on my door, and I looked out the slot hole and I was like, hey, you look hot. And then she's like, can I come in? And then her nose fell off. And I was like, no, you can't come in. And she kept on knocking. Oh yeah, shit. Little Richard, keep it knocking. That I've ever heard. And he's also probably dumb as a bag of rocks judging <laughs> by the recording. I, hey, and if you're looking for more voiceover people. Yeah. Uh, we'll what? do it. We've, uh, got a, we've got audio, yeah. we've got recording, yeah. those are things. Look, I like catching the gnar waves, bruh. It only works because I use the word gnar. If you don't necessarily have the time or the skill set to contribute to the project as like a member of the team, you can go and join the community Discord, mm -hmm. which is really like a, a, a pretty big Discord, right? I think it has like 2,000 members. I don't and remember. I joined it, so I know it has 2,000 members. Nice. And it's just a bunch of like discussions about like the mod and like questions and answers and, and there's like a general area where people just kind of talk about like stuff. It's a really cool community of people. They seem really like welcoming and nice for the most part. All right, everyone, let us know. Is this mod look exciting to you? Is this something that you want to see us cover more? While you guys are down there in the comments section, why don't you also head over to the like button, hit the like button, 
hit the subscribe button so you can avoid the rad scorpions that go for people that don't have the bell icon. Mm -hmm. And then you can also go over to Twitter and talk to us there. You can talk to me on Twitter at IndigoQT. You can get me on Twitter at KrugQT. And if you want to reach both of us at the same time, you can do that at underscore QTimes on Twitter or at QTimes on Instagram. Hey. We've been Game Gorgon. We'll see you guys next time.